and welcome to another setup with me. Um, in this display, I use the colors Qualitex Cashmere, Sempertex Dusk Rose, Sempertex Rosewood, and then Rosewood in white, and black inside Sempertex Latte. I get asked a lot about my backdrops. Um, I purchase these from two different local vendors, and I do paint them for every single event. That's something that I don't look forward to every week, just running to the paint store and then having to go outside and sand and paint, but at the end of the day, it makes your setup look 10 times better when it's fresh paint and it's, you know, customized to your, your theme and your color scheme. So um, the cutouts that I used for this event, the Winnie the Pooh and the welcome sign, I got those from 360 Banner Design. You can find her on Instagram and she ships to you, so that's a major plus. Um, and then this is how I tie my two sixties. Um, the base of this setup was 24 feet of balloon. So each cluster is one foot um, and each cluster has six balloons in it. And that is how I measure the base. I know these backdrops, I've used them multiple times, so I know that they are about 20 feet. And um, the balloons that I add on, I inflate them a little bit smaller. They're still the 11 inch balloons, but I use quads. And I've been using this method for a few events now, and I really like how the balloons sit on top of the base balloons, um, which are inflated a little bit bigger. I feel like they just fit a lot, a lot better, in my opinion. And then um, the five inch balloons obviously are the smallest ones. So um, it's like as you're building out, the balloons get smaller and smaller. Wow, that's beautiful. So for the hollow arches, what I've learned is that when you're adding on your fillers and building out the garland, um, you want to connect your filler quads, the ones that I inflated a little bit smaller, you want to add those and you want to connect them at three different points on the base garland. So um, the filler is really going to be tight in there. I feel like it makes the garlands look a lot like more smooth. Um, if you like that style, definitely try it out. It's, um, it's been working for me lately, so let me know how it works for you guys. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, so right here I'm just building out and I start at the bottom and then go up um, and kind of just like start filling in holes and then work from there. Um, I don't worry too much if there's like a whole bunch of space because you can always go in with the 5 inch balloons after and fill in those spaces or add balloons to the back of it to kind of make it like a wall. But I've been really enjoying doing these hollow arches. I kind of want to do like a massive hollow arch with just like a whole bunch of balloons coming out of it with like really vibrant colors.
so at this point I'm pretty much done building out the garland and I wanted to show you guys what the base looked like. This is the base and this is what it's like when you build it out with those smaller quads. And now I'm just trying to place these two cutouts. I look so defeated right here. <laughs> and to keep the cutouts in place I just use fishing line and tie it around the balloons. guys watch thank you for watching my mom's video even i'm a real hot wheel fan even a go big go hot wheel fan that's why i wanted mega rex and tiger shark